Hello everyone! This is once again Expat Genji and welcome back to our channel. Aside from expat lifestyle, parenting, and ESL videos, I also like to share a little bit of my knowledge to help other small YouTubers like me based on my personal experience. So in this video, I'll be answering some of the frequently asked questions that I received from my previous video about how I verified my Google AdSense account without receiving my Google PIN. But just a very quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime I upload a new video. Reading people's comments in my previous video made me feel like I was answering the same questions repeatedly. So I've listed here some of the most asked questions to answer in this video. If you are one of those who are worried and stressed out if your pin will ever get to you, then I can assure you not to worry. If you haven't watched my tutorial video on how I verified my Google AdSense account manually without having Google Pin, then make sure to watch it after watching this video. I will make sure to put a link in the description box below so you can find it easier. Before we move on to the questions, here are a few things you need to know. First, if you are a newly monetized YouTuber and have already signed up for Google AdSense account, then Google will automatically send a hard copy of your Google PIN to your mailing address, not to your electronic mail, to your mailing address after you reach a threshold which is usually 10 USD depending on your location. Once Google has sent your PIN by mail, they will either notify you by email or on your Google AdSense dashboard saying your PIN was sent out on this date. And it will say that it will arrive within two to four weeks. And once you receive your Google PIN, you have three attempts to enter it in your Google AdSense account to verify your account. But sometimes for unknown reasons, especially during this time of lockdown, there are terrible delays or your PIN might have gotten lost in the mail. The good news is that it doesn't end there. You will still be able to verify your Google AdSense account without receiving your Google PIN. But before you can do that, there are some important things you need to know and I suggest you should do. If you haven't received your PIN two weeks after Google initially told you, then make another request. Don't worry about possibly receiving two PINs because any new PIN will be a duplicate of the first. And if you still haven't received your PIN, request again. I suggest you do this every two to three weeks because you have a maximum of four times to request a new PIN. Another thing to keep in mind is that you only have four months to enter the PIN. If you failed to enter your Google PIN within four months, then your ads will eventually be removed. But before this happens, at exactly four months, um, you will receive a prompt on top of your Google AdSense dashboard saying your ad unit is not displaying ads because your account is not yet verified. I went over how to resolve this issue in a previous video, so again, be sure to check it out. Now, here are some of the few questions many people have asked. Number one, let me read. My address in the passport and the address I put in Google AdSense are not the same. What documents can we give to verify the address? So for me, in my own understanding, I think it won't matter. What important thing is you are giving information about yourself and you are proving that you are not a robot. Next question a lot of you have asked is where to find the contact us button yeah it's very tricky right you don't always find the contact us button so the contact us button won't appear if you're not yet eligible to verify your google adsense account manually again make sure you already received the prompt saying your ad unit is not displaying ads because you haven't yet verified your google adsense account make sure you already received that it's usually on top of your Google AdSense dashboard. And also, make sure four months have already passed since your first pin was generated. I personally was also very confused before because I couldn't find the Contact Us button, but I realized that I won't be able to do that unless four months have already passed. So basically, just be patient and just, you know, wait until you reach the four months. All right, guys, I'm so sorry I had to change location because my baby is napping in his room. And so, yeah, let's move on to number three most asked question. Let me read. After the four requests pin, how many weeks do I wait? All right, so 
the simplest answer to this is every two to three weeks and if it doesn't work you know keep in mind because of COVID-19 there are a lot of delays that's happening in the support system so just basically keep trying and um, don't stress out if it doesn't work today try again tomorrow or try again on the following week until it works until you see the contact us button number four frequently asked question is can I use my student ID since I don't have any other IDs and you know if you only have your student ID it doesn't show your address right honestly I'm not really sure as well because you need any government issued ID or your passport for this one but if you don't have any try it anyway try your student ID anyway and if it doesn't work then you might try attaching two documents like for example your student ID along with any documents that shows your billing address for example um, electric bill or maybe something you ordered from online if it still doesn't work for you it might be best to acquire any government ID for example if you're a student you can get a student driver's license or you can get a postal ID or you can get a PhilHealth ID if you are from the Philippines if you try this and it's successful then please let me know in the comment down below so again don't freak out when you don't receive your Google pin after making sure you've already done everything I've mentioned in this video and four months have already passed since the first pin was generated and you have already seen the prompt saying your ad unit is not displaying ads you can then go ahead and verify your Google pin manually by following my tutorial if you have any more questions and clarifications feel free to ask in the comment section down below and I'm gonna try my best to get back to you as best I can so that's all for today and I hope this video was able to somehow help anyone who is also confused like me before and yes I encourage you to stick around and be a part of our YouTube family. Here in our channel, we share about expat lifestyle, educational videos, and we share about our parenting journey. So thank you so much for tuning in today, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!